All right, now let's go back to the continent of Africa to be at the front line of the migration of the wildebeest to see how they are doing there. They have to make sure whether the food belongs to them. Lions will take the freshest part of the killing, uh, killing killed animals. They understand the, sca the scavengers, like the vulture and the hyena, will follow them very quickly. The killings actually give test to every of these of wildebeest uh, crossing now into Kenyan um, Masai Mara. And um, as we get the migration here, we, we also have a lot of visitors coming. It is an uh, annual uh, um, cycle where uh, visitors from all over the world come as, 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 we, as we get the migration coming on our side. Okay. Uh, okay, so Maxwell, how long then does this migration last? I mean, do they just cross in one day or one week or one month? How long does it last? Well, um, now this is um, um, July, um, almost late July. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is almost late July. We'll have the migration till um, sometimes uh, mid-November. Um, when they when they start going back to the Serengeti, they they uh, come here for breeding. They breed in Kenya, mating, and and they get their calves when they go back to the Serengeti, uh, down in, around Lake Manyara area. And the residents of, of we have residents, wildebeest, the uh, resident uh, population, mm -hmm. which goes um, to the later plains to the, to the north. Um, so uh, they come here for mating. Okay. Meeting takes place here. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll continue talking about this uh, mm -hmm. throughout uh, mm -hmm. this hour. Okay. But for now, we have to come back to you, Dong Yang and Beijing. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Penina Karabi, reporting from uh, Masai Mara Natural Reserve, and we'll probably get get back to her in a moment. And let's go back to Africa to see with our camera team to see how the wildebeest migration is going on. Now let's go to Africa to have a look. After a short, short rest, they will make the decision of how they will start and where to go. The valley seems to be very peaceful. But actually, danger is just around 20 minutes earlier. We've seen lions on the move. As, we, uh, as we've seen, the, these wildebeest and zebras are actually under the supervision of the lions. The lions has not started their killings, but other predators are still are already waiting for the meal. Eagles eating the dead animals are waiting for that meal, killed by the lion. Today, whether we can see the lions again depends on our luck. We have a moving camera tracing the lionesses at the spot. Because we think they might just come to into our sight again. They've been waiting for the wildebeest for a long time and eagerly with only one aim coming here for the meal. The zebras and wildebeest seem not have been aware of the danger around.
，在沙河旅馆的附近，有很多水塘。There's many pools. There are many pools around here. 这些迁徙的动物 ，the migratory animals have been very hungry and thirsty after a long march. So they will definitely go to the pools. 而水塘 ，for water. 就是狮子、伏击角马和斑马的。And there are the places of the battle. We can see from the scene that it's because they are too hungry. Perhaps it's because these animals have been very, very thirsty. They have not been aware of the danger flying around. When they're off guard, that's the perfect timing for lions to attack them. Zebras are sometimes always more on alert than the zebras, than the wildebeest. So we believe there must be some some zebras looking around, and they will make alert when they see a lion. Some adult wildebeest are running around, but actually they shoot. Reserve some energy for running away when lions comes out. You can see a calf of the wildebeest, which is very young, seeing through their horn. But their horns are actually straight. After a year, their horns will grow curvy, which symbolized a grow a growing up for it. The two calves are playing around. This is the famous uh, games they, they prefer. An adult come and separated them just in case they've played too much. Right now he's giving class to the to the uh, to his kid. To behave well. The plain is their, ha uh, is their haven. Most of the time, they enjoy their life. But now is the critical time. Not good for games. The lions are just around. Now we're looking at an adult wildebeest. Is male. They are the major members of this migration. Compared with the zebras, they don't look as beautiful. But they actually symbols the migration of these great animals. Nearly two million of the migratory animals uh, would take this move every every year, and they take three quarter of this great number. So that's why we call the great migration as wildebeest migration. In this great march, zebra, zebras always take the lead, but they move faster than wildebeest. They're the light riders of the team. Vast numbers of wildebeest often follow the zebras. And they will dot it the plain with large stretches of black color. They are just part of the team. And what goes uh, behind them are the antelopes. It's not because they are slower than the wildebeests. It's just because they choose 
to fall behind as their way to survive. For this is the region due to their diet. Now the zebras are eating. Zebras like hard, harder and taller grasses. They have the best digest systems among all the animals moving. They will finish, they will actually cut short the tall grasses and left the short grass to the wildebeest. And wildebeest have a flatter mouth and nose than the zebras, which allows them to eat more comfortably. But they won't finish them off, finish the, 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 finish the grass off. The freshest part of the grass will be left to the antelopes, which is their favorite. It seems among this team, antelope, antelope are still on their way. They haven't arrived. They, they've been a bit slow. We haven't seen them right now. Perhaps they're not hungry enough. And the migratory team can uh, walk together. It's mainly because their dietary actually have been very complimentary. And the nature is very good at programming, making it suitable for every kind of animal. To survive. But for these animals, they must have be they must be on alert when they eat. We shall give a closer observation later. What we're looking at now is the live signal from the uh, uh, 